Good morning, my name's Tom, and I'm here today to uh, film a little video on how to use our Rapid Rise Pressure Relay Field Test Kit, which is our call tool part number KIT 013 1. The test kit, uh, when you buy it, uh, comes with some accessories. There's an electrical hookup with three uh, alligator clips. There's a bag of uh, hand tools. The wrench should be used for uh, removing a vent on a different units. Um, there's a spare gasket for this uh, adapter that will go on in the unit to help seal when we uh, pressurize it. There's an Allen wrench for uh, uh, plugs. There's also a small tube of PST to uh, be used when you replace the vent after you run the test. Uh, basically to start uh, the test you can uh, plug in your electrical hookup. You're going to have to remove the vent uh, from the unit. The unit can be tested on a transformer, off a transformer, any position laying down upright, it really doesn't matter. Um, this bushing will get shredded into the cover. Usually hand tight is sufficient. Uh, you may have to use a pair of pliers to really tighten down on it. Okay, the next step would be to uh, Hook up this plastic tubing that will actually pressurize uh, the top of the unit. You want to make sure you get the uh, tubing all the way down on the uh, bushing so there's no leaks. Um, this happens to be a 900 unit for an oil filled transformer. And uh, this CAC connector that comes with the unit, we also sell uh, units with different uh, configurations for Qualitrol style, ANSI, Bendix uh, connectors. This happens to be a Qualitrol style, so I'm just going to plug my electrical hookup into that. But you can use the alligator clips on any of the pins. It'll tell you on the wiring scheme uh, uh, how to hook them up. Okay, as far as using the unit, the first thing you do is you push this uh, left hand button, and when you hold it down, the first thing you should see is two lights. What that does is it turns the power on to this test kit and after you take your finger off the button you should see a red light. That means that this unit is in the untripped position so it hasn't tripped. Okay, The next step is to take this squeeze bulb and depending on what type of unit, and this, there's a little chart right here on our instruction sheet that tells you what pressure to run this up to and for a 900 it's between 3 and a quarter and 3 and a half psi which I've reached. Once you reach that, you push the right button, and what happens is a timer uh, comes on. It's for about 60 seconds. You have to wait 60 seconds and let, to let the unit stabilize. Now what this, uh, what this test kit does, it simulates uh, changes in pressure in the tank. In the bottom of the unit, we have a sensing bellows that reacts to changes in uh, uh, pressure, increases in pressure. When the pressure goes up, there's oil inside these uh, what we call guts inside of this unit and the oil goes up to the top of the unit and there's an actuator with a switch. For low rates of rise the switch won't trip but for a faster rate of rise the switch will trip. What we're doing with this test kit is we simulate a pressure increase in the bottom by actually pressurizing the top and then we're going we're to uh, pull a valve here in a minute we're going to let the pressure escape out of the top really quick and it'll simulate uh, a sudden uh, increase in pressure in the tank. So the timer uh, has done its thing and it's reset, so we got back, we're back to the red light. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull a small SPRV, and we're going to let the air escape. One thing to be real careful of is to make sure this hose doesn't get kinked up anywhere. Okay, so I'm going to pull this pressure relief valve open, and I'm going to hold, hold it up. And what happened is the light turned yellow. That means this unit tripped. So this simulates uh, roughly a 5 psi per second increase for roughly a half of a second. And the, the unit tripped, which is what it's supposed to do. So this is a good unit. Um, there's a net, that's kind of the pass test. There's uh, also a fail test where you run, you run the pressure up to a lower pressure. It's all in the table. And you really should wait. Uh, 60 seconds in between the tests. So if you want, you can set the timer. For time's sake, I'm not going to reset the timer because while I'm talking, this uh, this time is going to be going on. So our no-go test for a 900 unit 
tells us to go between one and a quarter and one and a half PSA. So I'm a little under one and a half PSA. And the needle looks like it's stabilized. If you start losing pressure, the best thing to do is start checking a lot of these fittings to make sure there's, everything's connected good. Typically this bushing might have to be tightened down. It looks like I'm holding pressure just fine. So I'm going to reset the timer. What this is going to simulate is a slow rate of rise. And what, what we want to have happen is when we uh, relieve the pressure this time, we don't want that yellow light to trip. Okay, this would simulate uh, uh, a false trip uh, on a transformer. And this, this simulates, like I said, sim simulates a uh, low rate of uh, pressure rise. Uh, this test kit also has a power down timer. So in the course of your testing, if all of a sudden you don't have any lights, I think it's about a five or six, seven minute timer where it actually powers down uh, from the batteries to the circuit board. In that case, you'd have to re, uh, repress this button to power it back up. Right now I'm just waiting for the red light to come on which says that 60 second uh, delay has been done, which happened. So I'm going to do the same thing, make sure there's no kinks. I'm going to relieve the pressure and I do not want that yellow light to trip. Same scenario, you hold it up, it didn't trip. So this tells me with pretty good confidence this unit is calibrated within specifications. Okay. And you just disassemble everything that uh, you assemble and you're all set to go. And you do a power down within, uh, I think it's five to seven minutes, something like that. Replace your vent. And you're all, and uh, yeah, that's what we have. We have pipe dope to put back on this vent. And that's basically it.